Uh, good morning everybody. This is the newbie. Still working on a Zeroli Corsair. <clears throat> Today I'm working on getting the light system checked out. I wanted to get it hooked up to the receiver and turning on and off um, on command when I think they should be on and off. So on the Corsair, my plan is to have the running lights come on when the retracts come down and the landing light will only come down if the retracts are down and the flaps are at full extension. So, like a good modeler, I have set everything up here I've got the, the receiver, the receiver and all of its satellites here. Uh, I've got a 2S2P2200 2P lithium ion battery pack I made up last night. That is not going to be the flight battery, that's just for playing around on the bench. And so that's plugged into the receiver here. And then this. This little guy right here, this is the light controller. So I got this from a company online called rc-lights.com and this is a 14 LED navigation light controller. Uh, it has four outputs that are continuously on when the light system is, is on, commanded to be on. It's got uh, two strobe outlets, outputs that can be controlled by uh, this potentiometer. It's got, so the speed of the strobe can be controlled by this potentiometer. It's got two more strobe outlets, which the speed of these can be controlled by this potentiometer. It has uh, outputs, uh, two outputs for a rotating beacon and it has four outputs for the landing light system 14 in total and I thought hey that's great and I bought this over a year ago and uh, and after I bought it I come to find out that <laughs> they, in 43, 1943 <laughs> they didn't have strobe lights on the Corsair, they didn't have rotating beacons the lights were either on or they were off Okay, well, fortunately the, the Corsair only had four running lights and one landing light. And uh, it also had some other lights for like formation lights and identification lights. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to install those. So, I've got it mocked up here with all the wires uh, that'll go in, that'll go into the plane. And I just wanted to make sure that when I hit the retract switch, the lights come on, when I hit the flap switch the landing light comes on and make sure that works and if so then I can start getting the lights mounted into the wing uh, and then recheck that everything works okay when it's in the wing and then I can be done with the wing lights so I've got hooked up here this is uh, one red one green LED and this one is the landing light and this is the landing light holding fixture thingy that I opened up in the middle for uh, for the LED to mount in there this is the little reflective thing this is uh, this is a flash bulb fixture out of one of these two dollar disposable cameras so this flash right here is where this came from so 
these two things will get gooped together and then this LED fits in there like that easy squeezy okay so we'll turn on the transmitter we'll turn on the turn on the receiver and then when I lower the retracts the lights come on uh, landing light was on but that's because the flaps are transitioning I have my flaps programmed to take five seconds to transition so right now the flaps are in the up position or commanded to be in the up position and when I command them down like that it'll take a couple of seconds before the signal is great enough for the landing light to come on and so yeah, I don't know if the fixture is gonna help make this brighter or not in the real world but at least it'll look the part all right, flaps up. Flaps down. And when I pull up the retracts, everything goes off. All right, so that's working. Turn off the receiver, turn off the transmitter. All right, so the next step is to start getting these things mounted into the wing and uh, get them wired up, then put uh, this thing into the wing, get things connected up again, retest, and we should be good to go. Later.